Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to our lesson today. Uh, here, there's a question. Remember, we have been dealing with percentage profit and loss. Uh, here, your taller trader bought 400 oranges at, she at the rate of shillings four for every five oranges. If she sold them at shillings one per orange, what was her percentage profit? What was her percentage profit? So, percentage profit we say is equal to profit times 100 all for the buying price. That's what we said. Uh, so, you are told now we bought 400 oranges at the rate of shillings four for every five. So, the number of oranges were 400. Every five oranges, we bought it at shillings four. So, let us get the buying price now. So, we say now every five, every five oranges. He bought it with shillings at shillings four. Uh -huh. Now, what about 400 oranges? How much will he be? So, for every five oranges, he paid shillings four. What about four oranges, 400 oranges now? So, cross multiply now. So, we say 400 oranges multiplied by four alpha five. These are oranges. And these are oranges 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 they go together so by five one by five eight zero you will get three hundred so he paid shillings three hundred and twenty shillings three hundred twenty this is now the buying price this is now the buying price because he bought it at uh, shillings four for every five shillings so the amount he paid when he was buying was shillings 320 so you are told now if she sold this is the selling price now let's get the selling price if she sold them at shillings one per orange shillings one per orange now let us get to the selling price now selling price you are told shillings one per orange shillings one per orange so how many oranges there were 400 oranges time is shillings one now per orange so the money uh, was 400 shillings now this is the selling price now so this is the selling price and this was our buying price now how do we get now uh, how do we get the now profit profit is equal to selling price minus buying price so profit let's get the profit profit is equal to selling price minus the buying price selling price which is 400 shillings minus the buying price 320 we got here so the answer is uh, the, the the profit now is 80 shillings 80 now they're asking percentage profit percentage profit is equal to profit which is 80 percent times 100 all for the buying price 320 cancel cancel by 8 10 by 8 uh, 4 by 2 2 by 2 5 by 2 1 by 2 5 5 times 5 you'll get 25 percent that is the percentage profit now that's how we get the percentage profit now here you are told a trader bought 400 i'm repeating a trader bought 400 oranges at the rate of shillings four for every five oranges every five oranges the buying price was shillings four uh -huh. if he sold them at shillings one per orange what was her percentage profit we must get the profit now how do we get the profit now we must get the buying price first we don't have the buying price here to get the buying price we said for every five oranges is shillings four what about 400 oranges all of them cross multiply 400 times four divided by five the buying price for 400 oranges is shillings 320 this is the buying price 320 let us get the selling price you are told he sold them at shillings one per orange there were 400 oranges shillings one per orange so the selling price is here i came here so i said shillings one per orange one orange is shillings one so 400 times one is shillings 400 so this is the selling price now how do we get profit selling price minus the buying price selling price which is 400 minus the buying price which was 3 320 so 400 minus 320 you will get 80 so this 80 is the profit now in your idea so this is the profit now buying price so percentage profit is equal to profit which is 80 percent times 100 all for the buying price 320 when you simplify you will get 25 percent that's how we get percentage profit (laughs) 
Yeah, you are told what is uh, the selling price for the following. What is the selling price for the following? What is what is the selling price for for the following? What is the selling price for the following? Uh, here you are given uh, buying price two shillings twenty. Then you are told uh, loss. Your toll is ten percent. So they are asking the selling price now. Uh, let us get the selling price now. Now this is the percentage one now. Ten percent loss. Loss means a decrease. It's a decrease in that's reduced in Hasara. Loss. Ten percent loss means every hundred there is a loss of ten percent. So when you hear ten percent loss, it means now hundred minus ten. Hundred percent minus 10 percent you will remain with 90 percent if it is a loss if it is profit we add it will have been 110 percent so this is loss you always subtract loss and decrease so this is our percentage now so they are asking now the selling price let us you have the buying price let us get now uh, the selling price now so to get the selling price we say 90 out of 100 multiplied by the buying price shillings 20 that's how we get cancel Cancel, cancel, cancel. You will get uh, shillings 18. This is the now the selling price. This is the selling price now. So, so whenever you are given loss 10 percent, 100 percent minus 10. When you are given loss 20 percent, 100 percent minus 20. If it is profit, we add. So uh, we get 90. So you say to get the selling price, uh, you say 90 over 100 multiplied by 20. It means now the buying price is always 100 percent. Always the buying price 100 percent. You say 100 percent buying price is equal to the buying price 20. What about now 90 percent? That's what we do cross multiply that's why I came with this one now so you will say 90 times 20 all for 100 that's why I say the buying price is always 100 percent that's what I said so that is how we move question that was question eh? B they said uh, buying price they said buying price is equals to shillings seven then the profit is 25 percent now it is the profit now that one was lost and this one is profit now 25 percent now what do we do now uh, we, I said when it is loss we subtract when it's a profit we add it's an increase so what do we do now we say 100 percent plus 25 percent profit we add is the increase so it's opposite of loss loss we subtract profit we add so that is 125 percent uh, now what do we do now so we say 125 out of 100 multiplied by by embarrassed shillings seven that's how we do uh, now uh, we can simplify or we can introduce a decimal now we can say uh, cancel we introduce a point we cancel we put another point here so here we remain with 1.25 multiplied by 7 now that's how we do 7 times 5 35 carry 3 7 times 2 14 14 plus 3 17 7 carry 1 7 plus 1 8 so you will get she is 8.75 uh, that's how we get 8 shillings and 75 cent that's how we do so it's the way i did we say the other one was loss we were subtracting but this one is profit we add it's 125 percent so always i say the buying bar is 100 percent you can say 100 percent is equal to the buying bar is shilling seven what about 125 percent cross multiply you say 125 multiplied by seven or for 100 you cancel point you cancel introduce a point then you say 1.25 times seven you will get shilling eight point seven Five, that's what I did. So that is how we solve for that one. Also, there's another one you are told what is the buying price for the following? What is What is the buying price for the following? They say selling price, shillings 50, loss 20 percent. They say the selling price, shillings 50, loss uh, 20 percent. So the other question, so they are asking now the buying price. The other one, they were asking the selling price. This one, 
you are given the selling price so they want the buying price and remember uh, the buying price is different from selling price and it's very common in exam so buying price is different from selling price i say the buying price is always 100 percent that's what i said you should know that one buying price is 100 percent Sometimes students make a confusion of when they were told to find buying price, they use the procedure for, for getting selling price. So it's different. Whenever you are told buying price, it's 100%. So what do we do now? You are told loss of 20%. Loss of 20% now, we said 100% minus 20% because a loss we subtract. That is 80%. Now they want the buying price now. I said the buying price is 100%. So, so this 80 is for selling price. Buying price, I said the other one was 100%. This one is for selling price. Now, let us find out the buying price. So we said if 80% is the selling price, is equal to the selling price, which is 50, buying price always 100%. Ask yourself, what about 100%? When you hear buying price, this is what we do. You ask yourself, 100%, cross multiply. So 100 multiplied by 50, alpha, 80 cancel cancel by 2 uh, by by 4 2 by 4 25 so 25 times 5 now divided by 2 so uh, you say 25 times 5 25 carry 2 10 11 12 of 125 so you say 125 all for this 2 now all for uh, 2 so 125 divided by 2 uh, you will get uh, 62.5 uh, you'll get 62.5 shillings 62.5 so that is how we get the buying price because if we say 62.5 uh, times 2 10 carry 1 4 plus 1 5 you get total of 125 so that is how we find so that is the buying price it's 100 percent it's very common in examination so selling price you are given 50 loss 20 percent 20 percent loss 100 minus 20 you will get 80 percent whenever you hear buying price 100 percent 80 is equals to 50 what about 100 percent if you are told what was the buying price what was the price what was the cost price those are the terms they use in an examination a lot of student might think the examiner is asking uh, is, is asking the selling price no so if you are told what was the buying price if you are told buying price buying price price what was the price what was the cost price all of them these are buying price now so it's hundred percent 80 is equals to 50 ask yourself what about hundred percent when you are buying price cross multiply hundred times 50 or for 80 when you cancel cancel when you multiply by 4 2 by 4 25 25 times 5 divided by 2 you will get 62.5 that is the buying price Uh, let us see also this another question here <coughs> you are told an item was bought an item was bought an item was bought for shillings 180 an item was bought for shillings 180 and sold at loss of 25 percent and sold at loss of at a loss of 25 and a half percent of 25 and a half percent then they say they calculate the selling price calculate the selling price calculate the selling price calculate the selling price now they are asking the selling price now uh, you are told an item was bought I said the other day bought is the best tense of buy is bought so this is the buying price now so our buying price is 180 uh -huh. she is 180 uh -huh. you are given loss so loss percent loss is two at uh, 25 and a half percent or 
25.5 percent 25 and up and 25.5 is the same then they are asking now the selling price question mark is that a question we are doing so yeah but the problem here is a half so it's the same you say as 25 so 25 percent loss what do we do with this 25 percent loss we subtract from 100 so we say now 100 percent minus 25.5 percent we subtract now uh, we say 100.0 minus 25.5 you get 5 point here here remains with 9 9 minus 5 is 4 here remains with 9 9 minus 2 7 so you will get 74.5 percent so this is now the discount you have subtracted if it will have been profit we will have added so 75 percent profit now so we get the selling price now how do we get the selling price selling price so we say uh, it's not 100 percent because buying price is 100 percent we have the buying price as always well buying price 100 percent so we say 100 percent of buying price is equal to the buying price See, yeah, always buying price hundred percent. What about the now selling price? What about seventy-four point five percent cross multiply? So you say seventy-four point five multiplied by shillings one eighty, alpha shillings one hundred. So you cancel, you cancel. Uh, you say by two five by two nine by five uh, one uh, by five is uh, one because of five remainder two. Yeah, it's 24. 24, 5 goes to uh, 4 times because of 20. Yeah, remains with 4.45. It goes with 9. So you will get 14.9. Uh, so times 9, uh, you will get 134. Uh, you will get 134.10 shillings. That is the selling price now. 134.10. Uh, 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 so this is now the selling price. Now they were asking the selling price. Uh, you are told an item was bought for shillings uh, 180 buying price bought 180 percentage loss 25 and a half means 25.5 is the same half and 0.5 is the same a half is the same as 0 0.5 when you change to decimal so 100 percent loss with subtract 100 minus 25.5 you get 75.4 they are not asking uh, what they want is the selling price they don't want the buying price so now buying price we have and it's always 100 percent so 100 percent of buying price is equal to the buying price which is 180 selling price now what about 74.5 percent cross multiply 74.5 times 180 uh divide by 100 then you will get shillings 134 and uh, 10 cent that's how we find So let us see also is another question here uh, you are told uh, a fruit seller bought uh, bought 300 mangoes a fruit bought 300 mangoes 300 mangoes Three hundred mangoes. Uh, then you are told at the rate of shillings five, at the rate of five for shillings four, at the rate, at the rate of five for shillings four, for shillings four. Then you are told now later he sold them. Later he sold them. Later he sold them. Later he sold them at the rate of. 10 at the rate at the rate of 10 for shillings at the rate of 10 for shillings 6 then you are told calculate uh, his percentage loss calculate his percentage loss calculate his percentage loss I think we, we did also another question, the first question and this one, they are similar. Uh, you are told a fruit seller bought 300 mangoes at the rate of 5. 300 mangoes at the rate of 5 for shillings 5. At the rate of 5 is every 5 mangoes, 
he bought it at sh for shillings eh? four. So we say now they were 300 mangoes in total. They were 300 mangoes. So you are told now for every 300, they were 300 uh, mangoes. So we say uh, every uh, every every four. Uh -huh. Now what about 300? What about 300 mangoes? What about 300 mangoes? For every five shillings four. What about 300 total? Cross multiply now. 300 multiplied by 300 mangoes. 300 mangoes times shillings four. Alpha five mangoes. Mangoes, mangoes. Uh, by five one, by five six zero. 60. 60 times four, you will get shillings two. 40. So this was buying price. He bought. That's the buying price. For every five shillings of four. What about total 300? Alili Bangabi, 240. So you are told now, later he sold. Sold means selling price. Later he sold. Sold means selling price. Later he sold them okay, at the rate of 10 for shillings of five. The first one at the rate of five. At the rate of five for shillings of four. This one at the rate of 10 for shillings six. Every 10, Shilling six now. <laughs> Let us see now selling price. He sold selling price. Every every ten mangoes shillings six. <laughs> what about three hundred total? Three hundred mangoes. How much did he pay? Cross multiply. So we say three hundred mangoes multiplied by shilling six. Alpha ten mangoes. Alpha ten mangoes. So mangoes, mangoes, they go together. Cancel, cancel. So what do we do now? Uh, Thirty times six is equal to you get one eighty shillings. One eighty selling price. So we have the buying price and we have the selling price. To get the loss, loss equals to buying price minus selling price. We learned that one. So loss is equals to buying price minus selling price. Now let us get now 240 minus 180. Now shillings 240 minus shillings 180 is equal to now what do we get? Uh, 240 minus 180. Zero. That is six. So you will get uh, 60. So shillings 60 this is now the loss but they don't want the loss what they're asking is the percentage loss how do we get the percentage loss percentage loss equal to percentage loss how do we get the percentage loss is equal to the loss which is 60 percent times 100 all for the buying price 240 cancel cancel uh -huh. by 6 4 by 6 10 by 2 2 by 2 5 by 2, 1, by 2, 5, which is equal to 5 times 5, 25 percent. That is how we get. Uh, so it is 25 percent, the best percentage loss. You are told a fruit seller bought 300 mangoes at the rate of 5 for shillings 4. At the rate of 5, every 5 oranges, he bought it for shillings 4. Later, he sold them at the rate of 10. For shilling six, calculate the percentage loss. He got a loss. What was the percentage loss now? So I came here. I said 300 mangoes total. For, for 300 mangoes total. For every five shillings four. What about total? All of them. How much did he pay? Cross multiply. 300 times four. Well, for five mangoes, mangoes by five, one by five, 60, 60 times four, 240. That is the buying price he bought. He bought it somewhere. The selling price now, you are told for every 10 mangoes. This guy sold them for every 10 mangoes, he sold them at shilling six now. What about total now? 300 mangoes, 300 of them. What was the selling price now? Cross multiply. 300 mangoes times six over uh, 10 mangoes. Mangoes, mangoes, cancel, cancel. 30 times six, you will get 180 sold selling price. Now, percentage loss, to get it, you must get the loss first. So after getting 180 and 240, buying price and selling price, to get the loss now, you subtract now. Loss equals to buying price minus selling price. 240 minus 180, you will get 60 
loss. They don't want the loss. They want the percentage loss. Percentage loss equals to loss which is 60 time is 100 alpha the buying bar is 240 cancel cancel by 4 by 6 4 by 6 10 by 2 2 by 2 5 by 2 1 by 2 5 25 Five, 5 times 5, 25 percent. That is how we get the percentage loss, and it's very common in examination. Uh, so you must revise them uh, very well, those questions. So for today, we shall stop it there. I wish you all the best. Thank you.